Hello and uh, welcome to the music theory lesson. Now this lesson is all about uh, musical forms. The ABA ternary form, the AB binary form, the rondo form and the themes and variation form. Now students you will need to watch this video before you take the quiz that goes along with the musical forms. This quiz is four marks and will be assessed summatively. So it is four marks. So please make sure you do that this week. Okay, let's begin. So why form? Well, form describes the way the musical selections or ideas are arranged and ordered in a piece of music. It's how we write. It's why we write. We want to create a certain form of music. Form in music is also called the structure. Without it, music would not make any sense at all. It would simply be notes on a page and improvisation all the way through. The first form we're going to look at is a B form, or called binary form. Binary, by, meaning two. <clears throat> so it has two different sections, and they're both of equal length, roughly. The first section is called the A section, and the second is called the B section. The second section, or the B section, is usually a section that contrasts with the A section. They are musically different. That's why we have A and B. Okay, They are different, or they're opposite from one another. Both sections are often performed with repeats, so you'd get A, A, B, B, usually. So I took the liberty of creating a couple of pictures with some cookies. Why not cookies? I love cookies. I don't know if you don't like cookies, okay, but I love cookies. Um, so here on the left, we have the Oreo. That represents our A. And on the right, we have this wonderfully coated, chocolate coated um, shortbread cookie, which I love. Uh, and with that is the B. So we have A, B, binary forms, two different parts. Some examples, we have the chicken dance. Everybody knows the chicken dance. I don't know the chicken dance. I know the song. Uh, and then we have Green Sleeves, a very famous Christmas song, right? Um, if you'd like, take a look at both uh, links. This presentation is also going to be on our Google Classroom, so you can actually take a look at those links and listen to the songs, because I can guarantee you that some of these songs on this uh, presentation are going to be on the quiz so make sure you listen to them all right next up we have the aba form or ternary form okay this is a three-part musical form created by repeating the first section which is a the second section again contrasts or is different to in terms of musicality the uh, first and last sections now the repeat of section a which happens at the end, can be exactly the same as the first, or it may have some added detail to make it more interesting, which is usually the case. So the first section, which is A, ends on the root of the key. We call this the tonic. And the second section, which is B, is usually in a different key because we want the two to be uh, contrasting. We don't want them to be the same. Some examples we have, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, right? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So it goes A. Uh, Beethoven's Minuet in G is also an example of um, ABA form or ternary form. If we're looking at it in terms of cookies, we've got, right, Oreo, shortbread, Oreo, A, B, A. All right, the next form is called a rondo, okay, which is actually referred to as a round because we start at A and we come back to A. It consists of <clears throat> a number of A sections, okay, with contrasting sections in between. The A section, we call it the theme, 
is contrasted with different sections which are called episodes. The A section can change slightly um, each time that it returns, which usually happens to make it more exciting. Here are some common forms. The most common form of uh, Rondo is the ABACA form, the number two form here. That is the most common, but there's some different variations. The first and last A sections are often played twice, so they do repeat. And section B and C are usually in a different key than A to keep things interesting. An example is the Rondo, which is funny enough, named Rondo in French, uh, from suite number three in B minor by Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, by the way, so if you look at this, this art piece of art, it's actually kind of creepy. His smile is a little bit creepy, but if you stare at the eyes and then move, it's really weird. The eyes follow you. It's crazy. Bach, he's always with us. Um, another really cool example that I really like is um, The Spring by Antonio Vivaldi. It uses the form A-B-A-C-A-D-A-E-A. -A -A -E -A. It includes a whole bunch of different um, episodes, always returning to the main theme of A. Um, so please uh, go to the Google Classroom, go into this um, presentation and have a listen or just search up Spring by Vivaldi. So Spring has this um, form. So if you take a look at the form, right, the theme is always the trees. And so when you're listening to it, I want you to listen to these different parts, trees, then the sound kind of of birds, and then we go back to the main theme of trees. And then we have this flowing, meandering river that musically paints the picture of a flowing, moving river, and so on. So take a listen and follow along. Um, now, Rondo is found in some popular music, especially in movie themes. Um, one of the most famous examples of Rondo form is found in the Raiders of the Lost Ark theme, right? The Indiana, Indiana Jones main theme. Bum, ba, bum, 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 ba, dum, bum, ba, dee, bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 and so on. Have a listen. And we're back to cookies. Yes, cookies. We've got Oreos. We've got our shortbread. And in the middle, I can never remember what those are called, but uh, they got the little jelly inside. They're delicious. Right? So we've go A, B, A, C, A, B, A. Always returning to A with some episodes in between. So let's look at our last form, theme and variation. So composer, typic, the composer typically can begins with a simple theme, so we have A, and then repeats it multiple times throughout. But the theme is changed or varied in some way each time. But that main thematic tune is always there. The theme should still be recognizable even though it is being changed in some way. Okay, and the theme here is recognized by the letter A, and the variations are the numbers. But the theme is always there. So, for example, we have bread. Each one of these depictions of the smiley face bread is bread. It's all bread. We know it's bread. Okay, but there's different variations of bread. We've got, looks like whole wheat bread. We've got some, maybe some... Uh, a uh, whole grain bread or something there, and then we have rye. I think this might be sourdough. Maybe this is sourdough and this is whole grain, and then rye bread. But the theme between them all is that they are all bread. Okay, and this is in music as well. Some common musical changes that composers make to change the theme, to add kind of texture and to add excitement to that main theme, is they'll change the tempo. They'll add counter melodies, they'll change the rhythms, they'll change time signatures, speed things up, slow things down. They'll change harmonies, they'll add harmonies, they'll add tone and color and change the texture. But the main theme, the thing to remember here, is that the theme is still there. But it's just slightly changed to make it more exciting. It's varied. Um, some really famous examples are the song by uh, A Simple Gifts by Aaron Copland. Now, Aaron Copland is a very famous composer and conductor. Um, Fanfare for the Common Man is a very, very famous theme. 
Um, I highly recommend you take a look at that. But when you listen to Simple Gifts by Aaron Copeland, follow through with this list of the theme and its variations and when the different instruments come in. But you'll notice that the main theme, the tune, stays. Okay? It's really important. Mozart did the same thing. He took the, um, the theme of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and varied it 12 different times. So see if you can, I would pause the video here, listen to the song, and then on the next slide, we've got the answer key. Okay, the main theme, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Bum, 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 bum. Whoops. Bum, 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 bum. And then if you go, this is the answer key of how it is varied, how it is changing slightly but that main theme is still there and we're here at cookies yes cookies now if we take a look right the theme is cookie every one of these things is a cookie but it's slightly different each time and then right we have our double stuffed oreo different we have some kind of shortbread it's different digestive cookie different our other chocolate covered shortbread delicious Okay, but the theme is that they're cookies, but they're slightly different at each one, each time. Okay. So, practice your listening skills, then take the quiz. Okay. Remember to take the quiz. It's on our Google form found in our Google Classroom. That's it. The lesson's done. I'm full. I don't want to eat any more cookies. Thanks a lot. And we'll chat later. Adios.